The sounds of moving equipment and chainsaws now fill the air of Dawson Springs, Kentucky. The mayor says about 75% of the town was flattened by the tornado that came through last Friday night. Sally Osborne and her family are among the fortunate. We got in a bathroom and because uh, it seemed like the safest place and uh, it, it, it just got rough. It just went over us real quick. The Osbournes felt the tile under their feet move when the house came off its foundation. Many of their neighbors' homes were completely leveled. It just looks like a war movie or like the end of the world. Um, uh, all the tornadoes have always passed over us in the past and they just did it. In many places, the only landmarks that remain in this town of 2,500 are the streets. Piles of rubble stretch for blocks, some pieces lodged in trees. U.S. President Joe Biden traveled here on Wednesday to survey the devastation, meet with survivors, and get a briefing on recovery efforts. While tornadoes obviously don't pick political parties, here in Dawson Springs, we're in a Republican stronghold, which means that most of the folks I've spoken with really aren't worrying too much about President Biden's visit. Instead, they're just concentrating on getting back to normal. School counselor turned emergency coordinator Suzanne Duncan says she's humbled to see those who have turned out to help with the recovery. Well, we've had people from Florida, from Georgia, from New York, from Pennsylvania. People have said, I was just watching the news this morning and said, I can't watch. I'm going to come down here and help. Sally Osborne says she feels blessed too, but she can't help but wonder if life will ever be the same. It's rough, but hopefully we'll get straightened out. In Dawson Springs, Kentucky, this is Erica Celeste reporting.